Hey, my name is Fabian and I would like to talk about Oriana. I think Oriana is like a really strong mage right now and she's kind of balanced I feel like because she has ability to play make with her ultimate and she can always have a strong laning phase which leads into gold lead in the early game. The way you should play early game is you try to get the push going with your auto attack, you try to have the ball always to try to zone the enemy from CS and when he tries to go for a CS you should try to punish with like a Q or a QW or a QWE auto attack so you can always fuck your Thunder Lord or even a QW auto is enough because the Thunder Lord procs and then you mostly just want to farm up until you have Morello and then you can really start wave clearing and you need to make sure that you also secure the blue buffs because she's pretty mana hungry with her W if you spam it and if you can spam the QW all the time then it's really good and also you should look to randomly use your ultimate not randomly but if you can try to ult the enemy and get them low HP and force them out of lane and you can get a push out then you can get an advantage I think translating to the mid game, you mostly just wanna try to stay mid, you wanna try to wave clear, you wanna try to get those ultimates off with the combos, like for example if you have an Alistar or you have like a Lee Sin or Rengar Kha'Zix, you can shield them and you can try to get ultimates off on targets, or if you hit some CC on enemies and they're coming to siege, then if you get a good ultimate off, then you win the team fight pretty guaranteed. I think it's the same for the late game. You wanna stand back, you wanna look for the ultimates, even flash ultimates can be good sometimes to force enemies to flash and then your teammates can kill them because they don't have flashes anymore, so it's really situational, but it's also really important that you hold the ult until the enemies use their dashes or their flashes because if four members or three members in the enemy team flash your ultimate, it's really hard because you use your main spell and if you don't hit your main spell ultimate obviously, then it's gonna be tough. I think the key items uh, versus normal APs are Morello, Deathcap, Blue Dance, and then Void Staff, depending on if they have Mighty Resist. If they have like a lot of Assassins, like Zed or LeBlanc, you can buy an early Zonia, but you wanna look for Morello, Blue Dance, or Deathcap, or I don't think guys upgrade Aliandris, and mostly look after that for a Void Staff or a defensive item maybe, and yeah. The key matchup to survive as Orianna is probably Syndra. I feel like this is a really real skill matchup because Syndra has more range than you and her spells are instant, or not instant, but you have time to react. Meanwhile, Orianna's fall is kind of slow, so you have more time to dodge it. But I feel like as Orianna against Syndra, you have to be really good at dodging the Syndra balls and look to put out your ball as far as possible so you can poke her with range because she has a lot of range as well so you have to play with distance really well and against Zed I think this is a key matchup as well you just want to buy your Seeker's arm guard and probably play with exhaust and then try to survive it because if he snowballs then he can't get so many more kills on you I think there's some tricks, I think in lane just the trading combo QW auto or QW E auto or QW ult E are all good combos. You can also ulti flash, which is not that useful most of the time, but it's like it can surprise the enemy. And like just flash ult. If enemy don't have flash, you can just flash ult them. Or if they have flash, you can force their flash and then your teammates can clean up. I think the champion doesn't really need a nerf right now. It's really strong in mid, but I think it has a lot of counterplay since you can always flash the ultimate and she's pretty immobile as well, so you can always try to catch her.